Welcome back, and on tonight's episode of Will That Explode, the answer is yes, this is gasoline, not diesel. So I bought this wrecked truck, and uh, now we're going to see if we can't get the thing running. But before we do any of that, we got to do some other things like fix this bumper because it's getting into the tire. And then my plan is we're just going to cut the windshield and the roof right off of this thing so we're able to use it. Bed looks like it'll be fine. Don't worry about none of that. That side's crumpled in pretty good. This side looks like it'll be it'll be fine. And this one, bumper's already been trimmed, so we good to go. We just got to get this roof cut up off of here. But before we do that, we got to figure this situation out. So the motor's still there. It's got oil and transmission fluid and all that crap in it. But she no cranky crank, so we got ourselves some fuse box over there. And we got to figure out what, what popped whenever this thing rolled. Hey, what are we doing? Tuning your uh, drop top. We are flashing Robert's new cabin chassis with the spicy tune. The only redeeming factor is it's an eight lug truck. So that means it's got a party motor and a party transmission. I just want everybody to see Robert's uh, carrying of lug nuts. <laughs> There's none. <laughs> oh, you're not trying to steal this, right? No, we're, we okay. already stole it. Okay. So that part's already done. <laughs> can we tune in a big cam? Oh yeah, we can tune in a big cam. We're going to get a big cam tune. So this is our dumb project that i picked up because somebody had rolled it and i was like oh look a six liter so now we're gonna body swap it before we body swap it though we're putting the biggest stupid ignorance tune that we could put on this thing and ethan doesn't approve uh, i think it'll i think we'll get after it he's so. a small block ford guy yeah, he's just worried about it put a square body on. <laughs> just like that it runs yeah, it watch your fingers I don't think that's going to close any better than that. Dude, this thing is a cherry. Give her a rev. Do a burnout! Are you happy? Oh, very happy. Is she tuned up? She's got the spicy boy tune in her. She's ready to window a block. She's definitely ready for that. You like how we do our ignition cut off? Oh yeah, show them how you cut that sucker off. That's right, you Dude, just pull that ignition pull fuse. It. Right on out she goes. Actually, it's the relay, but you know. Oh, We're relay. We're going to that off because it'll kill itself. Perfect. It runs. Shout out to the guys at BCW Racing for making this thing run after I messed with it for like four days. Best LS tuners in the East, baby. Uh, <laughs> disabling I bats. I don't know about that one. All you gotta do is disable bats. Everything else is really just, you know, it's trivial. So we got. We now have an LS for LS vest. We just gotta get rid of some of the orange, which we'll probably beat on this for a while because this is ignorant enough that. We'll take the cherry picker and straighten up the column just a little bit. What? That's red, bud. <laughs> what color did you say it was? Orange. Oh. Colorblind. Well, you know, orange, red. They're on the same spectrum. That's why right? they don't let you fly planes anymore. <laughs> the guys from BTW Racing did a uh, deleted the VAT system and put a tune on it so it idles and you can put it in gear and do like, you know, normal people stuff. <laughs> If you already spent your tax return and can't afford a full-size vehicle, that's fine. Down here at Bug Joe, Jimmy Joe, we cut that price in half. We're gonna roll it again. Do, ba -do, ba -do, ba -do. Hi. Do, ba -do, ba -do. I had half a mind to roll this outside and pressure wash the whole thing. I would. Pressure wash it? Yeah. Spray a coat black on everything. Oh boy. What is it? Forty one and a half. So 
a whole 10 inches you got to take out of the frame? Yeah, I'll take 10 inches out of it. What if instead of shortening it, we put the cab on it and find a big service one? Dude, it's really simple to go ahead and just cut it out right here. Take your whole 10 inches. Oh, we got three. And then it's just chopping the exhaust off and yanking the drive shaft out of it and rolling it forwards. This is as low bulk as we can get it to be. We paid $500 for the chassis, we paid $1,500 for the body. All right, before I cut this again, oh no, I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top like I did on that one with the source that happens, I weld it back up. Woo. Yeah. All right, before I go any further, I'm gonna measure it this time. Somehow it warped into something completely different. Eight and a half? What? <laughs> yeah, now it's way too fucking short. And the 10 lines up with the other mark again somehow. It's right there at the nine and a quarter-ish, which is what I think I took out of the other side. By the time we got done counting for all the stuff that we trimmed out of it. But according to this, it is about... So that should be our cut. A welder can do many things. Oh. Making that cut straight, not one of them. No, it'll make it straight. Satisfying thud, not gonna lie. Ready? Slide it on in. Right on it. Dead on. Alright, I believe our vote of confidence now is to put some weld on it, huh? Yes. I'm just gonna assume that's brake fluid. And hope to God. Where's the tape? Now we can cry. Oh, we might have fucked up. What? We fucked up. 60 and 2 sixteenths. It's off. Why? What's wrong? Look at where you've been measuring on that body mount. Well, we were measuring from here. Should I just measure here? Yeah, you've been measuring from the I've outside. I've been measuring from here before, right above this hole. Here, do me a favor and measure. Yeah, it is a little off. 59 and a half, measuring it like that. 59 and a quarter. So it's a quarter inch. But it's that way, right? Yeah. yeah. Cut sure. those tacks out of it and then slide that side forwards and that'll be right there on the money. Yeah. Ugh. I was wondering, I was like, man, that seems, seems a little, the, the amount of space I had over here from what I had earlier. Ain't nothing a grinder can't fix. Yeah. Should be it right there. All right. Go ahead and zizz that side, or like tack the top and the, yeah, tack the, the angles, other side. and then do that, and then we'll come back in and double check it in the morning. All right. She's tacked in multiple locations. I vote we come back in in the morning. Double check with the tape, and if it still is within an eighth of an inch, buzz it in. Burn it in, make the plates, plate the frame, and the frame will be done. Yeah, well, once we get the... Uh, Get this thing up on a lift. We're gonna have to redo that over there. I kind of didn't weld up the bottom. Totally forgot about that. That's fine. It fit perfect. <laughs> Flawless. That's actually flatter than I thought it would be, considering it just tossed all there. It's not centered, Robert. What, what are you doing here? Well, but we gotta leave the bed gap. You shortened the frame. <laughs> you wanted the bed gap. We gotta add the 10 inches back in. That would be the ultimate fuck you, is to do the video, but skip the part where you mount it. So when it comes, they're like, oh, he's got rid of the bed gap. And it's just 12 inches, but you still shortened the frame. I said on my Facebook that we were adding 10 inches into it. Wait. Is the hitch really? The hitch is actually meant. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I mean, this side's even centered. <laughs> I like how much frame there is. There's so much frame. The amount of frame makes me happy. It's so beefy. That's what every LS needs is like a 
300 shot? Yeah. 300 shot? 300? 200 on stock. If we're going to make it rowdy, three. My bad. <laughs> All right, Robert. So, this is a new one for you. We've got bed floor. We've got less than 10 inches of bed gap. It's just an acceptable amount. We've got a leaky roof. <laughs> and LS power. No diesel. Six liter life, four L80, four wheel drive. So why don't you tell the people what's the chassis out of? Because this is not a square body chassis. This is a 1999 GMC 2500 chassis. Not the HD, nothing fancy. Just a six liter LS, a four L80, some transfer case, and it's a four wheel drive. All right. And then the body is just straight square body, all the way back. Mostly Bondo, but there's still some GM metal. Uh, I think that's a uh, that's foam. That's, that's, foam? That's, that's, that's great foam. stuff. Great stuff. Has a big stake in this cab. And no lift, nothing. This is just square body sitting on 2500 chassis. Actually, for the record, I think the keys are turned up in it, but it's factory front suspension. Yeah. The keys might from be like adjusted. a normal square body to this. I mean, this is six inches of lift. Easy. Easy. But she's going to ride body. like stock. She's going to be powered like stock until we end up tearing into the motor. And she's gonna have air conditioning and all the amenities like stock. Like stock. Like stock. Yeah, because I spent the extra money to get a factory AC cab. That's right. Factory AC, factory six liter. We still got a lot to do. This is only, what, day three of it? We started on Friday, we got the cab off one truck. Saturday, we got the cab off the other truck. And then today, we've been working on merging everything together. Um, we obviously still have wiring, brakes, steering, but the body's sitting on top of it and it's out hostile, so it looks cool. Lots of brands were consumed in the making of this production. Every lifted truck guy's dream in three days. It's perfect. Now you just gotta fix everything that isn't hooked up and she'll be running and driving. I'm not saying we've been working hard, but. So the time has come. Dustin's nice. leaving, Jake's leaving. Jake has been part of the mastermind that's been making me measure stuff. Yep, teaching him how to do an LS swap the proper way. Step one, cut off the body. I, I don't know what any of this is. There's, there's these strange things here. I don't know what these do. Those are your horsepower injectors? Horsepower injectors? Yeah, so when the fuel injectors quit making torque, those make horsepower. Huh. Yep. Huh. Interesting. I have got to put brakes on it a steering thing on it maybe an accelerator pedal and wire some stuff you got this yeah. lots of phone calls about to be made lots and lots of little nitpick stuff but the body's mounted that's the big thing all the heavy lifting you know what it's mounted to i don't know hopes and dreams holds it together but it's sitting in the correct spot i mean technically it's blocks of wood self-tappers <laughs> It doesn't even have self tap. Thank you all for coming and helping. No problem. Anytime. It's just a short three and a half hour jaunt from Georgia. Three and a half hours. To the to land make... of no lottery tickets and no even fewer strip clubs. So this is what we do. Yeah. Well, I think I've got most of the basic stuff buttoned up and we're going to see if this thing will start. Uh, from there to there-ish kind of deal. That gets hot. Well, I had to do some shenanigans, as you can see by the wiring, but it's running. I don't know how good it's running, but it's running. See, that's leaking. And status update, it runs. It's leaking coolant. I don't know why it's leaking coolant. I'll figure that out in a minute. But uh, now that it runs, I need to clean everything up and actually get it working right. I know I need to put a shifting cable in it and I need to make some grounds. I need to do some other stuff, but it runs. Oh, it's like midnight, but we got done doing the alignment on the front end. And I've got a bit of an issue with oil getting into the water, into the radiator. And I think it's from the oil cooler. But that doesn't make sense though, because then the oil cooler should have been leaking coolant if it's able to push it into the radiator, you know? So, my solution to that is just to loop the oil cooler for right now, and... Oh, brake lights, probably should do brake lights. 
put a grill in it, bumper, um, filler neck. A lot going on. Oh, a quick update. I've lost my hat, but we have a bumper and a grill in place. And the oil cooler's looped. The alignment's done. The grounds are done. I'm working on getting the taillights working. And it's like 3 in the morning. It's late as can be. But we're making progress. Well, I think... I think... We have ourselves some good brake lights. And we have ourselves some questionable wiring. But I'm going to clean this up in the morning. And get all the cable ties after it. And we'll go to music. Magic City, not Music City. There it is. Got ourselves the grill put in, the bumper put on, questionable alignment done. Um, got ourselves some working brake lights. I gotta clean the wiring up, but we're getting there. I think we got it running. Well, today we did the registration. We got the classic 75 tag for it done and registered. It runs, it drives, it's got lights. She has had to drive me out here a ton of times. That's blown up. And yeah, that's the end of this episode. On the next one, work on modifying it. Till then, goodbye. No, I want each, each of you in a wheel well, so nobody has to, I don't have to do anything. Three, two, one, four. Yeah. Yeah, it's, somebody's got to be. <laughs>